29-year-old Brandon Cole Scott's dad fatally shot his uncle, auntie, and their two daughters before turning the gun on himself. At around 11.18am on the 20th of April 2022, the authorities received a request to complete a welfare check at Brandon's home, located in Timber Ridge Lane Drive in Hemington, Minnesota, on reports of a man going through a mental crisis. When officers arrived at 12.12pm, no one was home. The authorities then received new information after making contact with a family member. He provided information that Brandon had sent a message, saying that he intended to harm himself and other family members. The message that had been sent to the family member was later posted on Facebook. He wrote that he made the absolutely horrid choice not to only take his own life, but the lives of his uncle, auntie, and two cousins, after battling severe mental health issues for years. He added that he couldn't fathom why he came to this decision, but hoped that God will grant his family the most peaceful heavenly afterlife possible. He then said, I love you all, and please know I knew you all loved me. I try my best to fight it. Goodbye. The authorities learned that Brandon had access to a gun, and at 12.29 they approached Brandon's uncle and auntie's home, about seven miles from Brandon's house, located at 715 East 12th Street in Duluth. When officers knocked on the door, they heard a single gunshot. The authorities made a tactical retreat and requested backup including a SWAT team. Just after 3pm, officers entered the home after using robots and drones to help with searching the property. When officers entered the premises, they found a total of five dead bodies, including a suspect and a family dog. Brandon had murdered his uncle, 47-year-old Sean Barry, his auntie, 44-year-old Rihanna Barry, and their two daughters, 12-year-old Shi Wei and 12-year-old Sadie as they slept during the night. He then killed the pet dog before shooting himself as police arrived. Duluth Police Chief Mike Tuscan described the crime scene as the worst he'd seen in 30 years. On the 18th of April 2022, 29-year-old John Parsi and 30-year-old Isil Ali Mahi were arrested and charged with murdering a man and shooting a baby in the face. The incident occurred at around 9.40am on the 30th of October 2020, when the authorities responded to an address in the 1600 block of Eleanor Drive in San Mateo, California, on reports of shots fired. When first responders arrived, they found Ueta Muir Seeker's lifeless body with multiple gunshot wounds after being ambushed in his own driveway. During the course of the shooting, Ueta's two-year-old son was shot in the face and was transported to the emergency section of the local hospital. The little boy has since recovered from his injuries. The authorities said it was a revenge attack and the suspects were laying in wait to commit the crime. The investigators believe the shooting is related to a potential role Ueta played in the death of 85-year-old Susanna Tonga, who is the grandmother of John and died in a fire that was deliberately set in 2019, but did not elaborate any further in the connection. At 10am on the 18th of April 2022, John was arrested in Charlotte, North Carolina, and at 11.50am, Isolelli was arrested in Honolulu, Hawaii the same day. Both men have been extradited to San Mateo, California to face trial. The authorities said the two men were not identified as suspects until late in the 18-month-old investigation, but they believe they have arrested the two suspects responsible for this crime. <laughs>